Hi everyone, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. My name is Osereme. If you're seeing me for the first time, thank you so much for stopping by. Hit on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you become a member of my sewing family. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to draft the pattern for the making of this beautiful basque waist shirt dress. Now, this is actually not as easy as it looks. This one stressed me a little bit but anyways we are going to be trying as much as possible to draft the pattern today and in my next tutorial i'll be showing you guys how to join all the pieces together to get a full dress so if this is something you're interested in hit on the subscribe button if you're still yet to subscribe please hit on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell and let's go straight into today's video so i'm going to be using these two fabrics here this plain white cotton fabric for the white fabric you will need about two yards and then i have this brown crepe fabric for the crepe you will need about one yard now i have a zipper here this is not the zipper i'm supposed to use for this tutorial for this dress actually but this is the zipper i have available as at the time i'm making this tutorial so i'm just going to go ahead and make use of it so let's go ahead and draft our pattern so guys i have my pattern paper here i've drawn a straight line across to serve as the shoulder line and then from the center i came in by one and a half inch and drew a straight line all the way across this line i drew across is going to serve as our zipper allowance for the front now from the shoulder line i am going to measure down to 13 inches 13 inches is my underbust line and i'm going to go ahead and draw a straight line across but my line will be stopping exactly where i have my zipper line ending now again i will place my tape from the shoulder and i'm going to measure down to my waist so my shoulder to waist measurement is 16 inches i'm marking it here and then my shoulder to hip i'm also going to go ahead and mark it here at 22 inches so i'll go ahead and draw straight lines across this point so now i've drawn out my major lines the shoulder line the underbust line the let me label it on the bust this is the waistline here and then this is the hip line i'm not going to draw out the dress length yet we'll be doing that on the back pattern now from the center line here remember that this other side is zipper allowance so my measurement must be from the line here so i'm going in by half of my shoulder measurement which is seven inches i made a point here still from this center line i'm going in by three inches this is how wide I want my neckline to be. And for my neck depth, I want to use three and a half inches for the front. So I'm going to go ahead and use my curve to draw out a round neckline connecting the two points. So now the next thing I'm going to do is this half of my shoulder that I measured earlier. I am going to come down by one inch for my shoulder slope. And I will connect this point I came down by into the top of my neckline like this so now the next thing you're going to do is to determine your armhole depth and for me it is seven inches how to get yours is divide your bust measurement by six and add 1.5 to whatever you get so for me when i divide that i get seven inches so at this seven inches point i just drew a straight line across now from the top of my shoulder slope i am going to draw another line to meet this new line i just got now the next thing you will be doing after you have done this is to determine the midpoint of this line so from the shoulder slope here down to this new line which is actually the chest line i am going to just divide what i have here into two equal halves make a point here and from this point i will go in by half of an inch so go ahead and do the same thing here now you will come down to this chest line here and you are going to divide your bust measurement by four make sure that your measurement is starting from this line here okay so i marked the point here now i'm going to connect all the three points to meet the shoulder slope i'm connecting all of them with my curve and i'm just going to get my nice armhole so guys after getting the armhole the next thing i am going to do is on this underbust line i am going to go in by half of my nipple to nipple measurement i marked it here I am also going to mark the same thing on the waistline and also on the hip line. So I use my straight ruler to connect all these points as you can see. So guys, this was the point I realized that I had not even drafted out the bust line. So for me, shoulder to bust line is 10 inches. So I had to mark this here because I was wondering why my dart was looking very funny. 
so now i've connected my dart line all the way to the bus point as you can see so now i am going to go ahead and take in my dart intakes on the waistline you always take in darts on the waistline so i'm coming out on both sides of the dart line by half of an inch and i'm just going to connect all the way to the top of my line here this is the bus point i'll do the same thing for the other side now for the dart going towards the hip line for this particular tutorial i have checked out the picture i'm trying to follow if the dart actually went all the way to the end of the fabric so from the waistline here i'll just connect the dart to meet the hip line this is not normally how darts are supposed to be darts are not supposed to get all the way to the hip line but for this tutorial we are going to do it like that because we are trying to follow a particular dress now this bust line i just decided to draw the bust line across because i was having a lot of confusion at this point now on the bust line i am going to mark my bust measurement divided by four make sure that whatever measurement you are taking is from the line we drew earlier the zipper allowance line now on the waistline my waist measurement divided by four i just marked it and the dart i have here i measured it which is one inches and i just replaced the dart now on the hip line my hip measurement divided by four i am marking it here so i'm going to go ahead and join all these points together using my curve so now guys for the bustier area of this dress i was quite confused a little bit i was wondering whether it was a mistake they made there or this is how they wanted the bustier area to be now the cups for the bustier were above the under bust okay they were on, above the under bust so the pleats was on top of the bust so i just wanted to follow it like that so from the bust line i am just drawing a curve to meet the under bust line on the side now this is similar to what's in the picture i am trying to follow so i just made that curve from the bust line the top of the bust line to meet the under bust line on the side just make sure you're looking at what i did here you can see i've drawn it out now with a marker so that it's more visible for you guys to see so now i'm going to extend the neckline into the zipper allowance and also the yoke as well now we're going to come down to the basque effect in front guys i'm actually very skeptical about this particular one i actually hope that it comes out nice we'll be seeing definitely in the next tutorial now the basque actually looks like it started from the waistline from what i see in the picture it looks like it started about one and a half inch away from the waistline so from the waistline here i'm coming down by one and a half inch and from the hip line i came down by three inches so i'll use my ruler to connect these two points in a slant manner to give me the v-shape effect as you can see right here so i'll just extend it into the zipper allowance as well so guys it's time to cut out this piece for some reason i decided to fold in the zipper allowance inside before cutting it out now this did not come out well because the fold now affected the zipper allowance on the inside so if you are cutting out yours don't fold in the zipper allowance so guys let me show you what i mean why you should not fold your zipper allowance can you see how the zipper allowance is now looking like a v at this end you don't want it to be like this because it's going to be very hard for you to stitch down so make sure not to um fold this piece like this when you're cutting it out please so now these are this is it for the front pattern we are going to go ahead and slash and spread the cup piece and for this one i decided to use my free hand so i just used my scissors to cut into the cup area towards the shoulder as you can see and i just went in again and cut again into the um cup area towards the shoulder so that allows me to spread it out a little bit so i'm just going to cut this closer to the shoulder so that it can spread out more easily so i'm going to place this on another piece of paper and pin it together and cut out a new bustier part so guys this is the other piece of paper that i've placed the cup part you can see here i've spread it out a little bit here and here now the distance between the first piece and the second piece is one inch and the distance between the second piece and the other piece is also one inch so altogether i just spread this out by two inches 
so i'm going to go ahead and just cut out every other part you can see i already used my marker to trace it out along the sides so guys this is the yoke area for the front and then this is the basket effect on that we're going to be pleating the yoke into the waist area so now we will leave these pieces aside and we're going to go ahead and draft the back pattern so guys this back pattern is not going to have any zipper allowance you can see i started taking all my measurements from the center back here okay now for the neckline of the back i came down by one and a half inch and went in by three inches i also went ahead to draw out my armhole just like we did in front did it down here to the chest line i have my bust line my waistline my hip line and another line i added was the dress length when we were drafting out the front pattern we did not draw out the dress length because the back is what we are going to use to determine that now for the full length of the dress it's not going to be very long so the dress length for me i decided to mark it at 28 inches i've also gone ahead to draft out my dart and you see that the dart at the back from the hip line i came up by two inches before drawing the dart legs unlike what we did in front where i drafted the dart all the way to the hip line i told you guys that that is not how it's supposed to be now on the bust line i am dividing my bust measurement by four i made a mark there on the waistline i am dividing my waist measurement by four i also marked the dart intake that i have here and i just replaced it on the hip line i divided my hip measurement by four and marked it here and i'm also just going to mark the same measurement i marked on the hip line on the dress length line now i'll go ahead and connect all these lines with my curve and then cut this piece out Okay, I left them done, they notice. I'm not joking. Notice that we've not added any stitching allowance to any of these pieces. We'll be adding the stitching allowance when we are cutting out on fabric. So, guys, this is the back piece. This is the front piece here with the yoke, as you can see. And then we are going to pleat it in to fit into the basque area of the front. Now, for the remaining part of the front piece, we are going to be doing that later with freehand. So, let's go ahead now and draft out the sleeve. Now, for the sleeve, I already have a basic sleeve pattern here because I'm going to be using a long sleeve here. I have a tutorial on the channel already on how to go about long sleeves. Now, from the end of this particular sleeve, I'm coming up by four and a half inch. This is going to be the band for my sleeve. You will notice that this sleeve has a band underneath it so i'm just going to go ahead and cut out this four and a half inches i came out by so this little piece is going to be my band now for the remaining part of the sleeve i'm just going to also do slash and spread method there is no special way about this like i've come to realize that you don't really have to use a particular me uh, measurement for this so i just drew three straight lines across and i'm going to cut through these lines towards the armhole area but i'm not going to cut it out entirely so i'm going to leave a very tiny space on the armhole area so that all the three pieces are not separated so guys this is what it's going to look like by the time you're done cutting it out so you'll be able to spread the ends of the sleeve like this but the armhole remains the same so we'll be placing this on our fabric later so all the patterns for the making of this dress have been drafted so the band and the basque effect is going to be cut out with brown and then every other part is going to be cut out with white so guys these are all the pieces here let's take a look at the front piece first so this is the yoke and the basque effect of the front so the basque effect is in brown and of course the yoke is in white you can see how i've gone ahead to cut it out you can see the allowances i gave in between is half inch now for the side i gave it one and a half inch stitching allowance on the side and of course the zipper allowance as well is one and a half inch let's not forget that now for the sleeve i went ahead to spread it directly on my fabric so i didn't actually take special measurements for the spreading i did here i just spread it out a little bit far away from each other and for the band of course we cut out the band with brown so i folded my fabric before cutting it out this way i will not have to bother about lining for the band so this is all for the sleeve and of course for the back pattern i also went ahead to draft it directly into my fabric you can see the back um, fabric is actually very rough 
this is because for some reason they took the light in the middle of this tutorial and i just had to finish it up because i was already done but anyways yeah this is all the fabric we are going to be using to make this dress so guys in my next tutorial i'll be showing you guys how to join these pieces together to look like this dress you're seeing here so thank you so much for watching